Hello, welcome to Gilda's Club Quad Cities for a group meditation. I'm Kelly Hendershot, Program Director. Um, we are back again for our, our weekly meditation session. Um, today, I think we're going to be focusing a little bit on finding some joy. So I'm going to turn everything over to Angela Swanson, who is, uh, has been gracious enough to lead us in weekly meditation throughout this whole uh, pandemic since March. Um, so thank you, Angela. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me and for showing up um, for yourself, really. Primarily, you're showing up for yourself. And I think that is one of the most um, important things that we can do uh, every day is at least for a little bit every day to pause and show up for our, our own selves. Um, and then the reason why is because the resources, and I talk about resourcing our own um, joy, resourcing our own peace, resourcing our own inspiration and calm and compassion. And um, I like to think of it as an inner, we have an inner sanctuary. Um, and sometimes being still and being quiet doesn't feel very peaceful. Sometimes we are dealing with physical pain, emotional pain, um, mental activity that doesn't seem to let go of us. So, you know, that's really the challenge for us is to find how to access that inner stillness, that inner sanctuary. Um, and it's a practice. And sometimes it's not, it doesn't feel good. And sometimes it's not easy. But, you know, the, 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 the thing about meditation is that as we are turning our awareness inward and tapping into those resources, even though it may not feel good every single time, that every time we do it, we, we get a little um, more familiar with what that is and, and how to get there. And so it's remembering during the course of your day and, uh, your and ultimately your life is in the midst of the chaos of the world and in the midst of the stress of the day and um, that how, how can I turn into that, towards that inner stillness just on purpose? Um, and you can do that in, 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 a, in a brief moment of the day. You don't have to find a, a quiet place to sit and close your eyes, although I recommend that obviously as much as possible but you can find moments in your life to just turn, turn the lens of your awareness from being external to, to being internal and tapping in to those resources that you have so that when you go back to the external focus and engaging with people in your life, that you're bringing a little bit of that with you. And that's something to, uh, I, like to I like to remember and remind people is that you carry your inner sanctuary with you wherever you go. You carry those resources with you wherever you go. And like I said, it's normal to be, feel kind of disconnected from those things sometimes when life gets hard and when life gets painful and you know circumstances are beyond our control and we're dealing with the stress of living and relating to each other. Um, but just to, you know, to continue to dip yourself and soak yourself in your own inner sanctuary uh, throughout the day. Just find those moments. When can, I, when can I just take a pause on purpose and breathe and listen to my breath? When can I um, pause on purpose and just hear the sounds in the room? When can I pause on purpose and just no check in with myself and notice how I'm feeling? So these are just these are just as important as um, sitting with your eyes closed, meditating like we'll do today. These little moments of mindfulness, of showing up for yourself, it all adds up. It all adds up, and it's all exercising that muscle uh, of awareness. And that's what all of this is all about: is is our awareness. When we have awareness of how we're feeling and what we need, then we can really show up for ourselves and take good care of ourselves in a way um, that maybe nobody else even can. 
So uh, the reason why that's important to take care of ourselves is so that when we show up in the world that we are present for other people and we're bringing our presence and our peace and our joy, you know, like I said, we bring that with us wherever we go. So we're letting that sort of flow out of us into the room, into the situation. And you know, that's really where um, the magic of, of the mystery of relating and of life happens when we can bring something without even trying, just because of our presence, we can bring something of value to others. So having said that, we'll just take a little time today and turn into our inner sanctuary and I'll guide us through. So we'll just begin, um, all of our meditations begin by finding a comfortable way to sit. I'd prefer it if you were sitting upright, if that's possible, just so we don't take a nap um, right now. And make sure your back is supported. Your, your, your legs and knees are in a, in a position that can be comfortable. Um, the mind really can't rest unless the body is nice and relaxed. So give yourself a leg up by letting your body just be really comfortable. That's the most important thing. You can sit any way you want. Um, again, just make sure you're comfortable. And you can adjust your body, adjust yourself as our practice uh, progresses. So you don't need to sit like a statue. You're doing it right as long as you're comfortable. So I'll ring the bell to begin our practice. Just let the sound of the bell ring in your ears, noticing what you hear, noticing the bell, noticing the sounds around you, the sounds in the room, the sounds outside the room, letting your eyes close if that feels good. You can also keep them half capped with a soft downward gaze. It's beginning to welcome the sounds in the room. And that knowing that sounds are not a barrier to our practice, simply part of the experience. Notice your feet on the floor or folded beneath you. Start to get a sense of where your body is located in the here and the now. Noticing your seat on the cushion, feeling your back supported, feeling grounded and safe. Let's start to notice the air on our skin. Noticing where the boundary of our body ends and the space around us begins. It's becoming aware of our body, our physical presence. And then turning a little more inward, noticing the, the sensations in your body. What is showing up for you right now? See if you can be curious about that. Tuning in to the subtle sensations of your body. Your body speaks to you in sensations like your mind speaks to you with words. Noticing what you're feeling being curious, trying not to be judge, judgmental, or have a story about how you're feeling, but just noticing the sensations, where they show up, what is it that you're experiencing, what happens when you bring your attention there, Knowing that your attention is love, your loving awareness can tend to your own body. 
like you would a, a beloved child or a friend, you can tend to what's happening inside of you. And it's just your own loving awareness, the presence of yourself with yourself. Just notice what's arising. If you're tuned into your body and notice what arises, maybe thoughts arise, emotions arise, physical sensations arise. See if you can observe, tune in, and be with. And let's move our awareness to the top of our head and imagine a healing white light that just enters into the crown of our head and fills us up from the inside out. We notice our forehead, the muscles of our forehead softening, our eyes dropping our cheeks softening, our ears dropping, our lips relaxed, our tongue relaxed, our jaw soft. In the back of our head and the back of our neck, Releasing any tension, unwinding those knots. And the, the light goes across the back of our shoulders like a massage. Letting those muscles and the skin soften down to the middle back and the lower back, into our tailbone. We feel our back soft and strong. Up to the front of our shoulders, across the front of our shoulders, down into the arms, around the elbows, into the forearms, around the wrists, into the hands, and out the fingers. Noticing the whole upper body, soft, relaxed, at ease. Coming into the heart space, letting our awareness rest in the heart space. Feel our heart opening and expanding, our energetic, emotional, physical heart, one and the same. Filling up our whole upper chest. The heart is the source of our joy, our compassion, our love. Just rest here for a few moments, tuning into our heart. They say that the heart is intelligent. So while we're resting our awareness here, let's ask our heart a few questions. We just ask and let the answers ring through our mind and body like a bell, not necessarily answering them, just letting life meet the questions. First question is how can I be kind to myself? What do I need right now and how can I be kind to myself?
How can I be kind to myself? Let that question go and invite another question. What are my heart's desires? Where does my heart seem to be leading me? Let that question go. Keeping our awareness in the heart space for just a moment longer. And then dropping your awareness down to your abdomen and belly, letting those muscles relax. Noticing your hips, your seat on the cushion and traveling into your thighs, around your knees, into your calves and shins, around the ankles, into the feet, and out the toes. And let's take a breath in, and out, noticing how our body is feeling now. And we'll come to the nose where we'll connect again to the breath, the inhales and the exhales through the nose. And we'll let a mantra arise, just listening for the sound, hum sa. We we'll use this as our anchor for the mind to connect to the body in this moment, hum sa, H-A-M-S-A-H, hum sa. Repeating that silently in your mind while I keep track of the time.
And you can release the mantra, keeping your eyes closed. Noticing how you're feeling now. It's important to come out of meditation as slowly as you go into meditation. So we'll take a few moments to just rest in being, rest in the stillness. And now would be a good time to bring an intention to mind, an intention for the rest of your day, how you'd like to feel, how you want to show up in the world. And they say that meditation waters the seeds of your intentions. So in order for these intentions to manifest, it's important that we release the seeds into the stillness. Letting go of expectations and attachment to the outcome, knowing that the seeds are taking root in our life And I'll go ahead and ring the bell to end our practice. And you can take your time opening your eyes, doing so when it feels right for you. There's no rush. And as we slowly start to come back to awareness, I want to thank everybody who joined us via Facebook. And we will see you next week.